Hello, hi. If you enjoy anything in this video, you should consider the following. Subscribe to me here on YouTube, follow me on Twitch, and on TikTok, where I make other forms of content and where I post my other content. All right, cool, enjoy the video. Hey, what's up, it's me, what's poppin'? It's uh, Fashile, and recently, I did a stream on Twitch talking about the whole Dawn Trail difficulty thing and how some people can't do normal mode. I was going over that post in the forums. I was talking about some Twitter posts. I would upload that VOD here on YouTube, but um, there's a lot of copyright songs in that and I don't feel like putting in the effort to do the audio puzzle game mixing and deleting and trying to preserve everything. So I'm just gonna reiterate a lot of the points that I said, but, and I'm not gonna stand down on business or anything. I'm just, again, reiterating. I'm going to open and close this the same way that I did the last one. I say what I mean, I mean what I say. If you have a problem with that, I don't care. Now, it's been a little, almost a month since Donjo has been out, if you had early access. And a lot of people have been going on about, oh, normal content is too hard, the dungeons are hard, I'm getting stuck in dungeons, I can't do this, I can't do this, and I can't do that. And they're just giving up and quitting for, honestly, in my opinion, no reason. Because I don't necessarily have a problem if you deem something to be hard. However, you maintain the let's run it back, let's run it back, let's run it back, let's run it back mentality. If you just do something once, fail because you didn't know what was going on and you give up, that's what I have a problem with. And it is because of that, that a lot of people got way too accustomed to the easy mode and air quotes stuff in Endwalker. And now that things are, you know, punching us in the face and actually punching us in the face, whether it be healers having to heal or quote mechanic overlap, which has been a thing since goddamn Stormblood. Um, people are not willing to put in the conscious effort to try because blah, 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 fear of failure, blah, blah, blah. No one wants to lose. Guess what? Losing is a part of life. And if you can't deal with that, that's tough because no one is going to coddle you. The 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 super toxic hardcore casuals or whatever the content is not going to be dumbed down and babied to a point where you can just explore mode and rp walk your way into an instance get the rewards and then get out that's not gonna happen and a large majority an overwhelming majority actually of people who actually play the game and i'll elaborate that on a second who actually play the damn game are like yo this is the breath of fresh air the, this new dose of difficulty and the franticness and the speed of mechanics we want this do more of this it's those of us that sit up in extremes or hell not even extremes who may it may be you're a dungeon only person right and you figured out ways to get through the a dungeon as fast as possible right you take the time to sit up and learn mechanics the people who take the time to sit up and learn how their class works people who read their goddamn tool tips the people who don't just go into something expecting a one and done it's the people who are like all right this is new time to lock in time to figure it out bada bing bada boom we big chilling the thing is done right it's the people who are so used to being coddled who are so used to wanting everything to be oh i'm in here i win no that's not how this game fucking works and it's never gonna be like that and for the people being like oh what we want is shadow bringers and storm blood and endwalker difficulty back no because that in comparison to what we currently have in the game is piss easy in my opinion and i am a twitch vod i went on quite heavy about mindset and mentality mindset and mentality if you go into some shit with some quitter loser attitude you're ha going to have a quitter loser experience if you go into something being like oh my god i messed up a mechanic one time i don't want to do this anymore you are in my opinion not only 
sandbagging your team, you are a detriment to yourself. And then going on and spewing this bullshit on the forums and on streams and on YouTube videos and on Twitter where the team, the dev team, have consistently said, hey, we look at these things. We see y'all. Just because y'all are bitching that y'all can't do something the first time or the second time or the third time doesn't give you rhyme or reason to be like, oh, oh my God, the game's too hard. Oh my God, it needs to be dumbed down. Oh my God, can 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 normal mode be normal mode? Can we have an easy mode? Can us casuals have something easy-ish to play? And the answer is no. The answer to that is a definitive no. Because the game can only get so, quote, easy. The game can only be so simplistic before you might as well not even queue into something and expect to fight something. These, these are the people who want something to be a very specific way to cater to them and them alone. But yet these are the same people who say that the game should not cater to the Raiders, the people who do extremes, the people who do ultimates, the people who do savages, and blah, 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 blah. But these are the same people who want the game to cater to them and them alone. And that's not how this shit works. There is no extreme of one side and extreme of other side that gets catered to no there has to be some degree of a middle ground and that some degree of a middle ground has to accommodate everyone it's not just going to accommodate the people who want sleeper mode baby rage easy mode and it's not going to accommodate the people who want balls to the walls non-stop mechanics you fuck up a single time everyone dies it's not gonna accommodate them either they gotta be something in the middle but these people don't want the thing in the middle and that's where the problem is at it's the same thing with this absolutely foolish healer strike that was going on before dawn show even came out to the public gang like it's people who did not have media tour access who either to be quite honest, were bad at healer, did not play healer, or did not play healer in anything outside of normal mode, talking about healing is so easy, it's boring, I want something to heal. Now that Dawn Trail is out, those same people are like, oh shit, I gotta heal. Oh, we're dying. Oh, well, there's a lot of damage coming out. Oh, I don't know how to keep up with this. And you probably, probably should have waited until the thing you were criticizing came out and then made your judgment. But I don't control other people as long as they're not affecting my runs. Fuck you, do whatever the hell you want. I don't care, right? But it's the mentality that you go into something expecting it to be bad, expecting it to be hard, and you don't have that dog in you to be like all right let's run it back all right let's lock in all right round two round three round four round 80 right it's okay to lose you're supposed to lose at some point if you go through anything without adversity why are you going through it in the first place why are you engaging with it in the first place quit whining and crying and pissing yourself for something to be easy because you want it to be easy that's not how this works and to be quite honest, because I've had this conversation with other people and I'm going to say it again. If you're struggling that hard, you're probably just not that good at the game. And you should probably, probably take the time to practice something so that you are not this cripplingly bad at the game because skill issue is a real thing. Me personally, I talk about skill issue a lot in my streams. I have at least two videos on my YouTube channel talking about skill issue and you know ways to overcome it and at end all be all is just keep doing the thing until you stop sucking at th the thing right it's not that hard it's really not that hard but your skill issue is not about to be my problem you feel now granted you know multiplayer game someone's not going to be the greatest and that's okay but as long as that someone is trying to be better I'm cool with it but if that 
someone does not want to be better and their skill issue remains an issue and it becomes an issue not just for me but everyone else there that's when i have a problem with that i need people to take the time to further appreciate the game that they love so much by trying to be better at the game stop sitting here and whining and crying and pissing yourself because you fucked up at something one time oh wow what was me figure it out run it back do it better right talking about that forum shit with overlapping mechanics dungeons have quote overlapping mechanics the 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 thing about the mental capacity of which it takes to resolve and again i have said this a lot too asking the majority of final fantasy 14 players to pay attention seems to be a cardinal sin if you can't pay attention for like 10 seconds when a mechanic is going off what are we doing what are we doing if you see a big circle on the ground a big orange or red circle on the ground move out of the circle you had a hundred goddamn levels to know at least to not stand in the danger spot right and i've heard people bring up the oh well using a hundred levels as an argument isn't fair and it's like no no that is fair because you have people like a lot of people have been doing going on about oh i've been playing the game so long and blah 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 if you're going to use your time spent in the game as a metric to deflect criticism then i can use the fact that you've played something for a hundred levels or just played the game for multiple years on end to call you out on your shit about well you can't tell me how to play i've been playing for so long yeah and you're doing it badly like what, what are we doing here come on now because this conversation is never gonna go away because i guarantee you it happened less than 24 hours when the raids came out last week right less than 24 hours people were tweaking and bugging about the normal mode raids right it's gonna happen again when the next set of raids come out it's gonna happen again when we get our next major story patch our next major content patch and new content is quote too hard because it's brand fucking new and no one knows what they're doing right it's new you're supposed to struggle and figure it out this this conversation is unfortunately going to be on a loop and a loop and a loop because the majority of people that are perpetuating this conversation were too adjusted to endwalker's difficulty and now that we have something that is not endwalker's difficulty because the devs were like yeah we're gonna beat y'all asses this expansion now they're like oh my god please change it back please change it back no it's not gonna happen figure it out get better end of story that's it fix your mentality lock in quit being afraid of failure and get it done run it back if you gotta run it back and it is what it is if you happen to lock out tough shit repair your gear fix your food maybe change your materia i don't know but go back in there and do that shit again bro if you if you happen to lock out from an extreme because of time oh well run it back if you're constantly dying over and over and over and over in a raid a normal mode raid since that's you know the basis for this goddamn conversation run it back continue to run it back i i recently uploaded my initial run through of all three raids and on raid number three we kept dying over and over and over and the astrologer's gear broke but we still kept running it back because we wanted to win and that's what people need to do quit being afraid of failure lock in figure it out and quit bitching of something that kind of sort of is in your control you control how well you play a game and if you're not willing to increase that skill level tough because the trust npcs ain't gonna help you and not a lot of people are gonna be willing to coddle people in the way they want to be coddled all right so that's that if you didn't like anything i had to say tough shit i don't give a fuck it is what it is don't let 
your skill issues become such a detriment to yourself and to other people. So, you know, take it easy. And uh, don't forget, when you go into something, lock in and make sure that you have the desire to finish the thing and finish it well. And by that, I mean, just see the duty completed screen. That's all you need to see. That is, that should be your goal is seeing the victory screen. All right. All right.